Brussels, also known as the capital of Europe, is known for its historic architecture, fries, and waffles, but can they also represent a good vegan food scene? I'm Eunice and I'm going to show you 7 places you need to eat and what sites you need to see when you're in Brussels. Let's go! First, I had to begin my trip on a sweet note. Okay, so I couldn't resist. Because Brussels is so close to France, you best believe they have really good French pastries and there is a place where you can get vegan French pastries. And this place is called Buddy Buddies. It's a coffee shop and all their pastries are plant-based. They even have a savory option. So I couldn't resist and I got the pan au chocolat because it looks amazing. It has like this crusted chocolate on top. It looks just so good. And then the inside, oh my gosh, you guys. Delicious. All right, so let's give this a try. That's delicious. I forgot to mention that it's actually chocolate hazelnut, so that takes it to the next level. And of course, enjoy with the cappuccino. They have a wide selection of vegan pastries, so I'm sure you can find something you like. They even have a kuh naman, which normally you can never find vegan, so this place is definitely worth checking out. If you're familiar with Brussels, you'll know that it's quite rainy, but for those days, I have the perfect spot you must try. Just grab your umbrella and head to Lulin. So if you're visiting Brussels, you might run into a cold, rainy day like I have today. But no fear, because you can go to Lulin and get a heartwarming noodle soup. It's Taiwanese-inspired street food, all vegan. But the funny thing is, is that you wouldn't know it was vegan just from walking past it. It doesn't advertise that it's plant-based because they don't want to turn off people from thinking, oh, it's vegan, it's not going to be good. So you do see some things once you walk in the restaurant implying why it's vegan, but it's just a beautifully lit space and it's very welcoming and the food looks amazing. They have a whole list of different options. So I couldn't help it and got the heartwarming bowl. It's a lemongrass coconut milk soup. It's a little spicy, but it is just beautiful once you receive it. They have different types of meat, so let's give this a try. This is perfect. This is exactly what I needed for this weather. The broth on that, the flavor is amazing. It's tangy because it has the lemongrass and the shallots. Oh my god. I have to try one of these mock meats. It's like a seitan like jerky, I think is what they said it was. So good, so flavorful. Brussels is a very metropolitan city, so there's people here from all sorts of backgrounds. Lin and Lou are sisters, and they created this restaurant because they wanted to showcase what Asian vegan food looks like. Solid choice, you gotta try this. I'm happy to report that the sun does come out in Brussels, which made the perfect time for sightseeing. One of the main attractions is the Grand Place or Central Square. What started as a market square in the 12th century, this square is now considered one of the world's most beautiful squares and has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1998, and it still has a political function as it houses the city of Brussels Town Hall. The Mont des Arts Garden is located below Place Royale and provides a green transition between the upper and lower parts of the city. Originally built in the 1910 Universal Exhibition, it was adapted in the 1950s to form part of the vast urban complex of the Mont des Arts. But now it's time to try one of Brussels' most iconic foods, waffles. Okay, so we all know that you can't come to Brussels without having waffles. So I'm gonna present you guys with two vegan options, savory and sweet. So I'm here at Sisters Brussels Cafe for savory options because they have a wide selection of different vegan options. I could have resist and got the vegan history because it has vegan seitan bacon and vegan mozzarella and sun-dried tomatoes and avocado and it looks incredible. And of course, you can get sweet options too, but I'm gonna show you guys the sweet option at a different place. But for now, I need to try this because, wow, the waffle looks delicious. The bacon looks so legit. Like, I'm like, this is vegan? Let's give this a try. This is, oh my word. Guys, this looks so real. Like, the cheese, like, do they make this themselves? Okay, I'm gonna get a fully loaded bite. It's gonna be ginormous. When in Brussels. Cheers. Wow. This is delicious. 
The flavor on that seitan bacon is amazing, and the vegan mozzarella, like, props to them, because this looks like real fresh mozzarella. Definitely a place for checking out if you want savory options. They also have a wide vegan menu of other things, breakfast, omelets, etc. vegan. They're sustainable and they care about zero waste, so it's just a really cool place to check out, in my opinion. So, add this to your list. Okay, so now I'm gonna go get myself a sweet waffle. Let's go. Okay, so I just got a sweet waffle at Vegan Waff. It's inside like a market. You don't really see it off the street, so you have to walk in when you see this like market, like almost like a flea market type of thing. That's where you go in. You'll see it right as you walk in. So this has no dairy, no eggs, and they're gluten-free. So if you're gluten-free, you can enjoy this as well. I got mine with tons of chocolate because come on guys, that's what you gotta do. And I got the vegan whipped cream because how often do you get to enjoy that? And if you want, you can even get toppings like fruit or ice cream. Okay, I have no knife, so this is difficult. I got everything. Okay, let's give this a try. This is amazing. Mm. Mm -hmm. Tip if you want a place to sit, because that's a takeout place only, there's a little like restaurant cafe right next door, and you just have to order something to drink and you can eat here. But the only vegan option they have is espresso, just FYI. <laughs> the texture on this waffle is delicious. I definitely prefer this over the other one in terms of texture. So, like, if I were to come back, for a sweet option only, obviously, this is where I would come. Like, I highly recommend you try this place. It's so good. Like, come on. You can't get enough Belgian waffles when you're in Belgium, right? So, hope you guys give this place a try. Now it was time to try Brussels' next iconic food, fries. But what makes this place so special? Hi, I'm Erika. I'm the manager of Frites Atelier Brussels. We make fries, but we don't make like typical Belgian fries. We make them actually uh, fried in vegetable oil, so they stay accessible to vegetarians and vegans. Also, vegetable oil tends to have a high temperature, which makes our fries extra crispy. We, however, opt to choose for three cookings. Uh, we choose to steam them at first, so it gets extra fluffy on the inside. Then we fry them at a lower temperature second. And then finally, we fry them at a higher temperature so they get that extra crispy outside for you. Okay, so obviously one of the first things you're gonna wanna do when you come to Brussels is have Belgium fries. I mean, it's kind of like an iconic food that everybody wants to have. But if you're vegan, you need to be careful because 99.9% .9 of the time at any of these fry places, they are fried in animal fat. So you can't just eat them off the street. You kind of have to be mindful of where you're going to eat them. But there is a place on St. Catherine's called Frites Atelier, and they specialize in Belgian fries, and they fry them in vegetable oil so everybody can enjoy them. How nice of them, right? So they do have tons of toppings. They're known for their specialty toppings and sauces. However, as a vegan, really you can just have the fried potatoes classic with ketchup, which for me, that's fine, because that's how I like to my fries anyways. So let's give this a try. They look delicious. Mm. I tell you, nothing beats a good fried potato. Rue St. Catherine or St. Catherine Street, super cute area. Like there's tons of restaurants everywhere. So this place is really cool and coming to check out and then just kind of walking along to see what else they have. Highly recommend, you definitely need to make this your stop if you come to Brussels as a vegan. Next, it was time for some Belgium chocolates that you think would be easier to find as a vegan. If you walk through La Galerie Royale of Saint Hubert, the hallway of chocolates, you'll notice most of these chocolate shops don't have any vegan truffles because they're all made with ganache. But don't worry, because just a five minute walk away, you'll find Laurent Garbat. All of their vegan options are clearly marked and you can buy them by weight. You're gonna wanna try so many options and these were delicious and you can enjoy it with a cup of coffee. And it comes with a chocolate too. Yum. Next is a burger experience you gotta have. So another place you can check out is called Kitsune Burgers. They're only four months old and they're all vegan and they offer three different kinds of burgers and they're fusion burgers, this is cool. So of course I had to try two of them. They have a Korean fried mushroom chicken burger, which looks incredible. And then they have a falafel smash burger, but they make the falafel out of azuki beans because smash burgers are all the rave right now. So. I'm gonna start with the Smash Burger. They make everything in-house. Like the inside of this looks insane. 
All right, cheers. Mm. Wow. You wouldn't know that was beans. I probably have sauce all over my face, but you know. There's a lot of onions in this. So make sure you like onions. You can, of course, get them with classic fries. I got them with furikake seasoning as well. Yum. Okay, now moving on to the Korean fried mushroom loaded with kimchi slaw. That texture is amazing. It's really good. It's not that spicy. So it says spicy. So if you can't handle spicy, you'll be able to handle it. If you like extra spicy, you'll be like, uh, this needs to be more spicy. But overall, this place seems like a super legit spot to check out, so I highly recommend. Before ending your trip, you must take the metro to Hazel Station to visit the mini Europe amusement park. Here you can see the giant atom and all the many countries you haven't been to yet. Make sure to buy your ticket online so you skip the lines, and honestly, it's super cute and I highly recommend. Before you leave, other honorary mentions for vegan finds are Judgy Vegan for the cute ambiance and the full vegan menu, Shop and Go Convenience Store for their dips and salads, and Bone for our amazing fresh juices. The quaint city of Brussels has so much to offer and with all the vegan food, I must say it's a definite must visit. Catch you next time on Rated V.